What's up, my fellow music makers, producers, beat makers, artists? This is Strat here from Strategic Audio, and today I'm in the mood to do a cook up. And the trick today is that I'm going to be using only sounds and elements from my newest kit. It's called Elements, coincidentally, and it's just released. It's got one shots, a drum kit, 25 inches soul samples, all the MIDI for all the melodic elements, full stems for all the loops and the analog lab bank featuring keyboard sounds I created myself to use for the loops in this kit. So let's get started. I'm just gonna pull up one of the samples and throw it into Serato and we're gonna start from there. So I got the sample, as I said, laid out here in Serato sample. I'm gonna play it just to let you hear the original key and tempo. So that's basically it, a nice retro, almost like a 70s vibe sample with some organs and piano and strings and some vocals. So because this Serato is linked to the tempo of my DAW, which is FL Studio, I'm gonna change the tempo of my DAW to 88, it was at 80. And I'm gonna pitch the sample up from G minor to B minor, that's gonna be four semitones. One, two, three, four. Now let's take a listen. So I'm gonna let the sample in its normal sequence be used as the, essentially the hook of the beat and build drums around that. And then, then I have a second instance of Serato where I have the same sample with the same settings, but I'm gonna chop it differently for the verse part. The drums and any other elements I use are gonna be all from the elements kit. All right, let's go. Okay, so that's just a really simple alternate sample chart that I think I'm gonna use for the verses while I'm leaving the full sample for the, the chorus. Uh, now let's figure out the drums and some other elements and go from there. This, this is just gonna show you how easy it is to use the elements kit, or any kit really for that matter, um, to make beats quickly and efficiently that still sound great. All right, let's choose some drums. I like seven, so we'll, we'll, we'll use seven. Here it is. <clears throat> Snare. Like Snare seven, too. I think I'll choose high hat number nine. And let's just keep it simple. All right, let's make a kick pattern for the chorus area. Thank you. 
things so i like that let's make a kick pattern for the the alternate sample chart Get into these high hats. I think these are gonna be simple. Notice I'm not quantizing any of these drums, and I am purposely drawing them in kind of random. Uh, I don't want it to sound too robotic, I want it to sound quite humanized. So the velocities are all, um, especially in the hi-hat pattern, the velocities are uh, fluid and the drums are not on the grid. Sounds like we got a good foundation here going already. Just want to add a couple of more elements and that's going to be it. I think I'm going to try adding in uh, an 808. All right, let's make sure we find the key of this 808. Okay, so as you can see, that's the process you're using in FL Studio. You right click. You send to audio editor, you right click again, and you detect pitch regions. And it comes up here in the top left corner, it says C2. Then you come into the ADSR section or this section, the section where they see the keyboard and you can change the root note, right click C2. So I changed the 808. I didn't really like the first one. It just so happens that this new one is also um, in the key of C, C2 to be exact. So and I, and I and I like the way I like the way this sounds a lot better. Let's make a little change to this intro. Um, make it shorter and kind of give it a little variation. See if we can make an 808 pattern to fit on the chorus area. Okay, so the name of the analog lab bike that comes with this kit is called Twilight Keys. Um, essentially, it's just a lot of um, piano sounds, acoustic piano, classic electric piano, uh, a couple organ sounds and a couple pad sounds. All of them were using the creation of the loops and samples that are in the kit. And I'm gonna see if I can use one of them to add just a little extra melody in some part of this beat. And that'll be it, just, just going to keep it simple. I 
I think I'm just going to let that come in in the second half of the, the verse area, which is going to be 16 bars. I'm not going to add anything to the hook area, the chorus area. The sample is very full there and the drums are hectic. The drums are busy. Um, so nothing and nothing going to add there. Uh, I'm just going to listen through one more time to see if there's anything I can do um, melody wise in the verse area. Um, I think it sounds decent so far. Um, all that's left to do is arrange and mix and let you hear the final beat. Then I'm going to let you hear the demo for the full kit and that's it. There is a link in the description for you to get the free version of this kit. There's also a link for the premium version along with a discount code. This discount code is going to allow it to be at an introductory price for those who want to take advantage. It's going to be, it's a great multi kit. It's got a lot of resources for producers. Check it out. So I decided less is more and there's no need to add any other melodic elements to the verse part of the song. I'm just going to arrange it, mix it, and that's going to be it. So I'm going to let you hear it properly mixed and arranged. Then you're going to hear the demo of the full elements kit. Link in the description for the free kit. Um, hope you enjoyed this little cook up and um, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the new kit. The free version is there. Peace.